Hello, my name is Lewis and welcome to Gathering the Magic. In today's video, we're going to be ranking the top 10 best mono white commanders in Magic the Gathering. For this, I submitted a survey on Facebook and Reddit, so for once, this list isn't purely based upon my own terrible opinion. Please hit that like button and why not subscribe for more MTG content? Go on, it'll only take a second. Let's carry on on that road to 200 subs. So without any further ado, let's get right onto the list. Coming in as the 10th best mono white commander, we have Avacyn, Angel of Hope. And I can already see one key word that sets Commander's hearts alight. Yes, she's indestructible. Not only indestructible, but vigilant flying and gives all of the permanents you control indestructible. If you just go Angel Tribal and have cards such as Lyra Dawnbringer and Angel of Jubilation, then you're just going to be in a position where you're going to win or just become the arch enemy of the table. For me, I'd be tempted to go full on Voltron, get on those Swiftfoot boots and World Slayer, equip them to Avacyn and slowly watch the world burn. I can see why it wasn't as popular as others on this list as 8 CMC for a commander is steep and if someone does find a way to remove it then it's only going to get more and more expensive from there on out. Next as the ninth best mono white commander we have Thalia, Heretic Cathar. Another powerful angel and this one is going to make you an enemy from the get go. All opponents creatures and non-basic land enter tapped and I say if you're going to be enemy of the group then Thalia, you might as well go full on stacks with it. Whack down those cards like Blind Obedience and Smothering Tide. Deny and disrupt your opponents until they're red in the face. By the way, if you're running any commander deck with white in it, just add Smothering Tide into the mix. Your opponents won't want to be constantly using mana when they draw a card and you'll be at a huge mana advantage before you even know it. And for Thalia, fill out your other deck with Staxi staples like Banishing Light and Grand Abolisher. And before you know it, your friends will wish they'd never ever even heard of Thalia. In as the 8th best mono white commander, we have Balin, Wandering Knight. And from my own experience in my playgroup, being pummeled by it on many occasions, Balan is a beast. Obviously with the abundance of new cat cards, you could go cat tribal, but for me, if you've got Balin, you're doing one thing with it, going full on Voltron. Get out all those equipments, attach it to Balan and start kicking your opponents to the curb. Get out those Swiftfoot boots and Shadow Spear and start going crazy. Maybe even pull out a sneaky grafted exoskeleton and poison your enemies to death. It'll be easy too because once Balan has two equipment attached, it'll be coming at you with double strike. Please stop killing me Balan. For the seventh most popular mono white commander we have Mangara, the Diplomat. The newest card in this list and I was actually surprised to see it included and see it be so popular already. For fans of white it was the stuff of dreams upon its reveal as it's finally a good card draw option for those mono white players. For me I'd go all lifelink and use those other abilities as a bonus. Whack out those cards like Elspeth, Sun's Champion and Heliod's Intervention. Use various methods to gain life then whack out something like Felidar Sovereign Keep that life total above 40 until your turn and get that win. So jammy. A really cool commander, although I feel its placement here is partially due to being very new and almost a flavour of the month sort of card. Just missing out on the top half at number 6 we have Teshar, Ancestor's Apostle. For this flying bird you really want to fill your deck with those artifact, legendary and sagas to bring back those creatures that cost 3 CMC or less. You could bring back cards like Mere Retriever and Junk Diver. Not only are those cards fetching you more artifacts, but by playing those cards you're casting again a historic spell so you get to go and dig out even more cards. That is absolute synergy for days. With creatures like Salvage Scout and Restoration Specialist too, you've got so much synergy you'll be popping off like no one's business. Before we get onto the top 5, just a very quick plug, if you're buying cards to build those commander decks, I absolutely recommend using Card Market. It's trusty and when you sign up, why not use code gathering-the-magic and help support the channel. Coming in as the 5th best mono white commander, we have Darien, King of Keldor, and I absolutely love this card. For Darien, you could go Soldier or Human Tribal, but I'd really just focus on getting those creatures on the board and profiting from it. Use cards like Suture Priest or Soul Warden and start gaining life from when you get those creatures. You've got the added advantage with Darien as your opponents may be hesitant to attack you as they know you'll gain from Darien's ability. If I had a card of the deck award for Darien, I'd absolutely give it to Anointed Procession. Double down on that token damage. 
Imagine taking 5 damage from a creature and then you'll get 10 little soldiers to attack or chunk block with. Darian, I'm liking what you bring to the table. Just missing out on the podium places, the 4th best mono white commander is God Eternal Oketra. A 3-6 double strike zombie god that creates 4-4 four, four vigilant zombies whenever you cast a creature spell. Oh yeah, and that third bit that you may put it right near the top of your library is essential if you've already cast a Ketra a few times and you'd rather just play it from your hand. You really want to be taking advantage of that bounce mechanic here, playing cards like White Main Lion and Emancipation Angel. Bounce, create, 4-4, four, four, repeat. Of course, that juicy, juicy anointed procession would work wonders in this deck too. Why just have one 4-4 four, four when you can have two? You can also bounce cards like Wall of Omens and Core Cartographer too if you want to get yourself more card draw or land. This zombie god is something that if you don't kill quick, it can get out of hand really, really fast. Taking the bronze medal as the third best mono white commander, we have Elish Norn. Now, the top three here in my polls were runaway favourites and you can already see why. Elish Norn is an actual monster. I think the Praetor cards are just absolutely insane and they will definitely be making another appearance in other mono card commander lists. Elish Norn not only gives your creatures plus two plus two but also your opponent's creatures get minus two minus two. That means upon her arrival those pesky weaker creatures your opponents have may just bite the dust. You could potentially do a mini board wipe when you play her. For Elish Norn you really want to focus on getting that small army. Play cards like Secure the Waste or White Sun Zenith and instantly that little army of 1-1s one or 2-2s two and now a scary army of 3-3s or 4-4s. Four or maybe if you just want to keep adding fuel to the fire and beefing up your creatures, play cards like Crovax, Ascendant Hero or Dictate of Heliod and in no time at all you'll be looking like a Goliath whilst your opponents will be looking like David. Ugh. I mean, that's a terrible analogy because we all know who wins that. Well, let's pretend in this version Goliath wins. Uh, yeah, moving on. Runner up and the second best mono white commander, we have Heliod Sun Crowned. Heliod speaks for itself. Cheap to play, indestructible, and that ability of whenever you gain life, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature or enchantment. Once again, as is common with white, you really want to go life game with this. Add in cards like Alhamrit's Archive and Staff of the Sun Magus, and you've got an artifact life gain engine for days. Get in those flying lifelink creatures like Hushbringer and Archangel of Thune, and you're not only going to be hard to take down because of that flying, but then you're pinging them for life, triggering Heliod, and being a very, very happy bunny. Throw in that age-old, popular pair of Impassioned Orator and Ajani's Pride Mate and you are laughing all the way down to the MTG Victory Bank. Coming in by a long way as the best mono white card in Magic, we have Shram, Senior Edificer. A white card draw commander, which those white commander players love, also has a variety of ways to go to be effective. Stack that deck full of vehicles, equipments, or auras. For me though, you've got to go for that artifact equipment and vault from the hell out of SRAM. Whack out those Accorders and Cathcar shields, lay down a Colossus Hammer and Black Blade Reforged, and really make SRAM go Super Saiyan. Another way to go is using those cheap auras that you can return to your hand, like Conviction and Cage of Hands. Play them, get that draw engine, return to your hand, and repeat until the game is yours. There we have it, that's the list. Any cards that you think should have made the top 10? Let me know in the comments below and let me know what mono coloured commander colour you want to see next. That was a mouthful. Don't forget to like the video and hit that subscribe button. Help my little MTG channel grow and grow. For now anyway, I'm all tapped out. So I'll see you in the next video.